Horizontal modeling. When I'm talking about horizontal modeling, I'm talking about relations between features and objects. And the rule is pretty simple. Always create a relation to the possibly oldest object available. That's it. The only rule you have to follow in order to create more update stable construction, in order to feel more comfortable, in order to avoid problems, to avoid calculation time, etc., etc. Their only benefits, the only negative aspect is that if you are an experienced user, there's something you have to rethink, there's something you have to additionally learn, but it allows you to work more comfortable than in the past if you're following the horizontal modeling rule. Is it an NX CAD secret? This is something I would like to answer during this video, because I think it's not a secret. NX is based, the complete technology is based on this horizontal modeling rule or technique or possibilities we have. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to another episode of my tutorial series NX Cat Secrets. And I've got good news for the beginners because I have just rearranged some of my videos. I've created a new playlist for you in order to learn horizontal modeling, in order to create more stable constructions, in order to create this wow effect that you might have recognized during my videos already. If I do modifications of numbers of instances, etc., etc., Pretty cool stuff that you can learn within the new playlist NXCAD Secrets for Beginners, which I've linked below in the description, which I've linked in the comments below, and of course, which I'm gonna link on the upper right of this video as well. If you have any experience already, let me know in the comments below. If you have questions so far, let me know in the comments below. If you did see the overall list of horizontal modeling and NXCAD secret stuff, let me know in the comments below what you think, because I have in the future until today only received positive feedback, not to my videos, but positive impressions about the software Siemens NX, which allows us to create compared to other CAD softwares, the best update stable and comfortable constructions. And of course, don't forget, if you are a beginner, it always feels uncomfortable to become comfortable. So it takes a little while, and especially for experienced users, it takes a little longer than for a beginner to catch up and to change the way of working. What is horizontal modeling? As I mentioned before, it's following one rule, always create a relation to the possibly oldest object available. But what is an object? Well, everything is an object which you see in the graphic area. And everything which you see in the part navigator is an object as well. A feature is an object. And I can prove this. I'm gonna do it afterwards, after the description. Everything is an object. But what is an old object and what is a new object? Well, that's pretty simple to explain. Just imagine a CAD system without a CAD system. How would you start creating a CAD system? How would you start creating a construction without a CAD system? Maybe first of all, you would define a position by use of a coordinate system. Everybody of us is using coordinate systems or datum planes or whatever kind of datum object in order to define a position, in order to define a direction, a orientation. So this is our oldest object every time. How would we proceed? In order to create geometry, we are nowadays not using primitives like cylinders, etc. We are using sketches. So sketch follows the coordinate system. What follows next? Now, time to think. Let me know what is the next object that we are going to create. Some of you might say a feature like the extrude. I would say no, just imagine you have created a coordinate system, you have defined a position for the sketch. Now you would create an extrude. Just give it a try. This is not going to work because there is something you need within the sketch. So after the sketch comes the curve or the point. Point is a curve as well in Siemens NX. Point and curve is the same. It's the same classification. And the only difference is that a curve exists of, of several points and the point is only one point. It has no direction, it has no size, etc. It's just a point in order to define a position, but it's still a curve. The relation you create to a point is the same kind of relation you create to a curve. So we've got coordinate system, we've got the sketch, we've got curve next. 
So the curve is newer than the sketch. The sketch is older than the curve. Now you can create an extrude. And now you have to think about the kind of relation you're going to create. Can you relate the extrude to the coordinate system? Yes, you can, the direction, etc. Can you relate it to the sketch? Yes. To the curves? Yes, you can. By using selection rules. You can create a relation from the extrude to the curve by using the selection rule single curve, for example, or tangent curves, however. But you can also create a relation to the sketch, to the entire sketch, by using the selection rule feature curves. And it could be a point as well which is included. Feature curves. And which one is older? Of course, the sketch is older than the curve. So you should create a relation to the entire sketch instead of just curves, because those are newer. Just imagine, you exchange curves within your sketch, the relation is gonna break. So you will always have to redefine the extrude after you have created relation to curves, not to the entire sketch. Let's proceed. Detail features will follow. The extrude is a feature. What kind of object does result from the extrude? You would say maybe faces. I would say, first of all, a body. And it could be a sheet body or it could be a solid body. Doesn't matter, a body is resulting from an extrude. And this body usually contains faces, a number of faces. But at that point, it doesn't matter whether it's a solid or a sheet body, it's the same class. The only difference is that a solid body is a closed number of sheets. If those sheets are soon, if those are combined and a close volume is resulting, it's a solid body. If not, it's a sheet body. That's the only difference. And from this body, no matter what kind of body, faces are resulting. So the body is older than the faces. And from these faces, which are intersecting, intersection edges are resulting, meaning the body edges. So the faces are older than the edges. And now imagine the creation of an edge blend. There are a couple of possible selection rules you can use. For example, single edge, meaning edge, create an edge relation. So what happens after a modification in your sketch, after you exchange some of the curves? Maybe this edge won't exist anymore. And the relation from the edge blend to the edge is maybe gonna break and you have to repair it. But you could also create a relation to faces, meaning face edges. There are a couple of rules you can choose from. Or feature intersection curves, which is a relation to a feature, which is older, even older than the body. I mean, you can create a relation to the extrude feature, but not the body which is resulting. And this is even more stable. So we've got coordinate system, we've got sketch, we've got curves, We've got the extrude feature, for example, or any other kind of feature, and we've got a resulting body. From this body, a face is resulting, and from these faces, edges are resulting, and the edges are the possibly newest object. And each time you create a relation to an edge directly, it could be tangent edge, whatever. The chance of breaking is higher than the chance of maintaining stable. And horizontal modeling is just arguing that you should always create a relation to the possibly oldest object available, meaning the sketch or the extrude feature or the solid body, maybe not the faces and maybe not the edges because those are not gonna maintain after a possible modification. And this is what my tutorial series is all about, horizontal modeling, which is for some of you still a cat secret, but it shouldn't be. Because if you have a look at Siemens and X, if you have a look at the quick pick, what you see, I'm not gonna show it. You can have a look at it on your own. What you see is in the quick pick menu, all objects, every kind of object, which might be a feature, which might be a curve, etc., etc., a large number, a large list. So a feature is an object. This is what I mentioned before. And you can see that also Siemens and X is saying that a feature is an object. What comes next? Construction objects, datums. Construction objects are coordinate systems, datums, sketches, 
and curves. Those follow next. And after construction objects, you will see the body objects, meaning solid body, cheat body, faces and edges. Those are the newest objects. And somehow you will see the similarity between horizontal modeling, between the selection of old objects and what is a new object and what Siemens and X or how Siemens and X is processing those things by using selection rules. I don't know any software that has such a large number of possible selection rules. And I wonder sometimes why within a basic training, selection rules are used intuitively. As they come out of the box, they are not explained, they're not used. So you won't have a chance to create the most stable relations available, possible. If you are not thinking about your selection rules and the object type, what is old, what is new. And of course, it's just a theoretical explanation today. Of course, you will have to look at my new playlist for beginners, meaning for slightly experienced NX beginners and experienced users in order to understand, in order to exercise what I've been showing you and telling you in this video. I'm really looking for what your reactions next year. We will publish an NX CAD secrets training, which allows you as a totally beginner to learn the horizontal modeling techniques in order to get the most out of the CAD software Siemens NX. And I'm also there for you in order to answer your questions. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know what your experience is. Just have a look at the playlist, go through the videos. I have reordered them in order to make it easier for beginners to catch up. It's 190 minutes of free video material. I'm looking forward to your reactions. Thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you to subscribe because we are uploading two videos a week, which you should not miss. Have a nice day. Goodbye.